What's up? Thanks for joining me on this Facebook Live Master Networks uh, Facebook. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, man. I am joined tonight uh, with Corey Bauman, our COO. Corey and I have spent the entire day talking about our Master Networks family, and that didn't end when we got home. No, <laughs> so sure didn't. We've been uh, right. We've been talking about it the entire time since we got home. Yeah. And so Corey and I were chatting via Voxer and I said, you know, we were talking about our Master Networks family and the things that they need. And I said, we should just go live and, and just start talking to our, our Master Networks family and see what they, their needs are. But there's, we were going back and forth. There's several comments that we wanted to make about what's happening right now. And in fact, just as we were launching the slide, the mayor of McKinney just announced that they're, uh, let me just read exactly what he said. Uh, the mayor's declaration has been updated to hereby limit the size of gatherings to not more than 10 and mandates the cancellation of all such gatherings until further notice. So the governments are <laughs> shutting down uh, meetings. And you know, what's interesting is again, I'm not, I'm no judgment here on this Corey, but like I'm seeing a lot of it and it's like a snowball, right? I saw schools, delay and then boom, 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 a bunch of schools. And then you see cities starting to do, first it was a limit of 500, then 250, then 50, then now 10. It's like, I'm telling you within the week, it's going to be like martial law. No one leaves their home. Yeah. It's insane. It's crazy. Yeah. It's like everybody's feeding off each other. You know, the, obviously the media has pushed it a long way. And now the municipalities are looking at the next municipality to see what they're going to do. And, and if they don't follow suit, it's a bad PR move. And, it's just uh, it's, it's so much it's social pressure right now, right? The mm -hmm. mentality of the social pressure. You know, I just want to say something about this. And what I wanted to jump on to our Master Networks family and just say this is, please be kind. Uh, be kind. Um, yeah, we're seeing this right here. I'll put on. Hey, Denise. Know. Hey, Ashley. Yeah, right. I hope, I hope not martial law. That would be yeah. terrible. Yeah, I agree. It's crazy times, right? Yeah. I mean, be kind. I saw some people have changed their Facebook profile. I, I want to. I want to share it. I'm not calling them out either. I'm just. I. It. It crossed my mind, right? And that it was. They changed their profile picture to a hashtag, and I've seen this hashtag throughout the day. And it says hashtag Stay the F Home, and it, it says the word. And, you know, I was talking to my wife about it and I said, it's so easy to sit there and judge and say, hey, why don't you just stay home? But what about, you know, so on one hand, I'm hashtag stay the F home. But yet well, I run to the grocery store to get food. And who do you think stocking the shelves and who's checking out the groceries? And by the way, if you call 911, people will still show up to your home. Right. Uh, if you have to go down and talk to your doctor. Right. And if your doctor needs to get to the office, they got to get gas and somebody's got to pump the gas. So, you know, maybe just quit all the judgmental things about people who do have to leave their home to still provide services that you or your doctor or others still need to be able to do their job. Right. Yeah. I mean, these people are I mean, they're already stressed out. They're they're away from their families and they're in harm's way in most cases. I mean, they are every day, but the influx of of that. Um, they're the folks that don't get the recognition most of the time. Uh, right. And it's going to be a long, you know, it's going to be long. I mean, it's not going to end tomorrow. I mean, these people are going to be on long hour shifts. I mean, obviously you have a wife that was a nurse for many, many years. 15 um, years. Yeah. 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 I mean, I get it. I get that they put themselves in harm's way to do their job. So I, I guess here's the other thing too, Corey, is we've got chapters across the country and here's what I want our chapters to know. Um, it's so interesting. We sent out a lot of communication on this and there's still a lot of questions. Look, look we're encouraging you to do virtual meetings. Like, mm -hmm. look, we're, we're meeting tonight with lots of people online. We've had zoom meetings all day and, um, we're doing a lot of those meetings and continually to work. I mean, I've worked honestly with the lockdown. I've worked harder in the last 72 hours. <laughs> I have in 72 hour span in a while. I hear you. I see. Yeah. I mean, I've been, I've been on numerous calls today and setting up Zoom and things for different people, helping them get set up and ready to go for their meetings this week. Um, you know, the encouraging thing is that most of, I think most of our members are in a good place with that. You know, they want to stay connected, which is a testament to the culture that we're building across the country. 
um, which we're going to touch on, you know, being relational, not transactional. That's really had right now is when we're recognizing how big that really is. You know, I love this hashtag Corona kindness. Let's be kind and support each other. I, I'm going to leave this up for a second because Denise, <clears throat> I, I, I couldn't agree more. It's what Corey and I were talking about as our chapters come together. Maybe, you know, some of the discussions in the chapter meetings, especially if they're virtual is not here's what referral I need, which is fine. You can still ask that. There's nothing wrong with that. But maybe it's like, who needs something in this chapter? You know, it's okay to say, look, maybe I wasn't as prepared as I wanted to be and I don't have enough water or toilet paper or whatever, whatever I'm running short on. And just say like, look, here's how you could help and have your Facebook pages be talking about what the needs are of the group. That's what we've been doing. I said on the way home, I literally have been on calls all day. I have said 20 times today, this is what we've been talking about for nine years and yep. we're in it right now. Like I didn't know this was going to be it, but this is it. This is what we've been talking about for nine years. Build your network and build it strong. One of our good buddies, Ryan Lee and his team was on today. They did a Facebook live and they said your, your mindset, your skill set, and your network. And now is not the time to build your network. You should have already done that. And yep. I was like, dude, this is what I've been saying for nine years. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it's it's true. It's the insulation that we've been talking about for so many years now of how to insulate us from things like this. And of course, it's not foolproof. Yeah. And we're, you know, we'll see impact just like all other small business owners will see it. But to have a network and people and resources to turn to that are that are going through similar things that we can share that with. And I mean, just the encouragement that you get from that piece of it is huge. And I just... um we were talking about it tonight. It's, um, you know, I feel for the folks that aren't part of a network or decided yeah, that they sure. didn't they didn't want to be part of a network because it costs too much every month, right? Um, well, now I mean, it, well, it's here, here's a couple things I want everyone to keep in mind. Like the whole point of a network is to insulate, yep. not isolate, but to insulate you from these kinds of times. And I. You know, I've, I've been talking to several. I had Carrie Wilkerson on today. She said that 70% of her income as a speaker already canceled this year. Mm -hmm. um, she's already down. I talked to Satema this morning and he mentioned speakers that are struggling. There's businesses all over. Now I'm hearing across the country, different restaurants, bars, ex excuse me, et cetera, venues are being closed. You know, they keep putting these, these restrictions on 10 people, 50 people, et cetera. There's more than that on a flight in a close quarter. I don't know. What are they going to start canceling flights now? Is that all just done? Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of people hurting. I'm not so concerned. I am concerned. The virus is a real thing. So I don't, yeah. don't want to say that, but I'm also concerned for our master networks family and the impact this is going to have on their businesses. Yeah. Um, Denise said, we're scheduling webinars for employers, how to deal with coronavirus in the workplace. This is how we're helping our community. Denise, I couldn't be more like, just more proud of that. Like we are hearing stories, just so you know, and this is what we're, we're is not being reported enough. We are hearing stories. I have message after message after message today of our Master Networks family stepping up and helping people across the country. I know you're hearing the same thing. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. So Corey, what do we, you know, here we are in this tough time right now. Um, and, uh, you know, what do we do right now? What are the things we do to thrive and not just, you know, well, right for the hill. I mean, I think what we're doing right now is really important. I mean, that's obviously one of the reasons we're encouraging virtual meetings. Um, in fact, I think they're essential, um, you know, to your point about being proactive and being kind of too late for that. Now, um, there's also the impact that's going to happen after we come out of the dust, right. Of this. And, who knows what that is? I mean, that impact is probably going to be maybe more than we think. But right now, too, is actually not the time just to stay stagnant and hold on to the yes. network you have. Invite other folks onto these these Zoom chapter meetings. I mean, that's a huge thing. These other there's other business owners out there that are doing the same thing you guys are, and you're at home trying to figure things out. Invite those folks onto these Zoom calls because I, I can I can tell you right now they're going to be looking for resources in the support group. And when we yeah. come out of this and we start meeting again face to face, hopefully sooner than later, um, and it, I mean, it'll be a great opportunity for them to jump right into a group, too. So I think that's one of the things that we we don't need to lose sight of. It's not a matter of just grasping onto what we have right now and kind of stopping the bleeding or whatever it is like it's it's growth. Yeah, you, you can I still know that uh, 
Yeah, I know that uh, Sarah in Minnesota said to me today they're they're they have a scheduled plan to have Discover Master Networks virtual meetings like three days a week. Yep, it's crazy. Like, great. That's what yep. people need right now. We're gonna talk about that, uh, Gary. Gary, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Gary, hey, Gary says my network is priceless to me and others. But you know, he's no kidding. I mean, we're still at about just shy of a thousand members in North Texas, and we were just out in Lubbock last week and look at that network, how it, that's thriving, you know, especially with stuff like this going on. Yeah. We have people, Ashley on here, Denise, Duke. guys, listen, I want you, if you would tag people that need to be part of this and listen to this, because we've got some important things to share right now. And really what's important is this message right here, which is be relational versus transactional. And so what does that mean right now? Like Corey, we, you and I were, this is what we were talking about today. This, is what, this has been our message, but what does it mean in this marketplace of chaos right now? Yeah, I think it means um, we use the word empathy a lot today. I think it's, you know, have empathy for those around us. Um, don't, uh, you know, because somebody feels a certain way about this and they're scared and they're frightened. Don't, you know, don't just dismiss them because they don't feel the way you do or think the way you do. I feel like it's important for us to be open um, to other people's <laughs> thoughts about that and listen. I mean, we're look, Chaz, you you know, you, uh, you designed bond and a big part of bond is to listen. So when we're connecting with folks, just to yeah. sit there and listen to, I mean, there's, there's a lot of people that are venting right now and that's okay. I think. Um, and, and just, uh, don't assume that they're going to have the right, you know, the, the same mindset yeah. as a lot of us do yeah. just listen to people, have, be, have some empathy for people because everybody's <laughs> going through this and going to view this a different way and, um, encourage, I think that's, yeah. Key. Oh, so encouragement right now is massive. In fact, in fact, Ashley said, I really saw our culture today. Our members showed up as we are master networks. I'm seeing that all over. Mark in Colorado messaged me and said, he said, you'd be, this is literally what he said, you'd be so proud of our master networks family in Colorado. Um, Maria, thank you as well. Maria said, thank, thank you for doing what you're doing, educating us over and over. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Maria. Yep. Guys, this is where it's time to come together. And this is what it means to be relational. There are other groups that meet and they're only based on the transaction. Look, let's not meet. Let's not hold virtual meetings because there's no need. And I'm like, oh, of course there's a need. This is, gosh, guys, there's, this is so much like so much of my passion. This is where I'm so fired up. There's such a need for this right now because people are going to be hurting. They're going to be struggling. This is not the time to divide the chapter. This is the time to come together and help each other. That's what we're about, not the not the transaction piece. This is what we're about. This is the thing that we need to do. So I would urge every leader who's on here of Master Networks to reach out to your chapter members. Yes. Make sure that they come to the meeting, even if it's virtual, make sure they come to that, right? And, and um, be a part of it. So guys, I wanna know as you're watching this, what are you hearing right now from your members? What are some of the things that we can give some instruction on? And, and Corey and I just decided I'm gonna come live every single day. I don't know what time it's going to be different times of the day, but I'm going to come live every day. And here's one of the reasons why <clears throat> this is what, this is what's concerning me. And I want to share this. I said this sort of, it just sort of came out today on the podcast. I said this and I wrote it down as I said it, and I wanted to come back and talk more about it, but I want you to do something today, especially when it comes to social media. I want you to be a producer of positive versus a consumer of chaos. Right. And so when you look at social media right now, there's so much chaos on it. This is what I was saying, you know, the hashtag stay the F home kind of thing. Like there are there are people that have to go out. Right. If your doctor's got to get to work to, to help you in the community, they got to get gas for their car. Well, who's ringing up the gas and you're, you're frustrated about groceries? Well, who's there stocking the shelves? Like some people have to go out. So quit shaming them because they have to go out. So get off that crap. Because it's remember what Ryan said, mindset, skill set, and network. The mindset, quit consuming social media. Be a producer, not a consumer. And to me, this is a message I would share with your chapters. Be, be a producer of positive. Um, <clears throat> and uh, Ashley said, thank you, Ashley. If you missed the podcast today, it was also great with this topic. Go back and watch it. Guys, what I would ask each of you to do in your local community and with your chapters is Create positive, produce something positive on social media every single day, if not right now, multiple times a day about mindset, skill set, and network. 
right? What's the right mindset to have right now? You realize, and Corey, you and I talk about this all the time. This is like, this is such a time if you can't go out and you're not able to do the activity, the income producing activities, this is a time to work on your business right now, right? What did we talk about at the end of the day? We talked about reinvention and some things we might have to be doing. Sure. I mean, we're going to have to bob and weave too. Um, we're going to have to pivot. I mean, that was a word Carrie used today on the podcast. Um, you can, um, what was the other one? Something to pivot. Well, you, she's, you know, I don't remember what she said. As I forget far as exactly other. what she said. Yeah. So you're, you're, and here's the other thing she talked about is people who become opportunistic in this market because they then see prey and they become a predator and they're like, I mean, I'm still seeing some of these messages that are coming to me. Like the timing's horrible on these sales pitches that I'm getting their email <laughs> campaigns and everything. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, don't be a predator in this market. In fact, we decided that we are opening a free coaching call on Friday. Yeah. To any and all of our members that want to be a part of it, they just have to register at five plus one mastery.com. I'll just put that in here so people can see. Um, but that's because we want all of our people to thrive. And so where, where it wouldn't be is if we just said, Hey, come to this for $10, $20, $100, whatever. But we're offering it for free because we want to provide that as value to our members. So what can you provide in your market? Yeah. Right. Um, I think it's um, it's the difference between being opportunistic and creating op like opportunity. Like there's people that, like you just said, there's they're just opportunistic in any thing, and they look at something like this. It's kind of like a it's like a looter. Is that a looter? Is that the right word? So yeah, people that looter. loot, right? Yeah. When they're so there's that, and then there's the opportunities like we just talked about, where somebody actually needs yeah. what we have, and they're out there struggling, and they're going to need resources. That's different. That's an opportunity to invite somebody and help somebody and serve somebody. Yeah, Ashley said, I had a member so grateful we are continuing to connect. She said there was nowhere else to go. Um, Ashley, are you talking about your chapter meetings? Is that what you're, you're talking about? I'd love to know. Um, I, I think that this is where people need each other. This is not the time to go and hide. So how do you thrive right now? I think this is a great time to sort of like she said yes so this is a great time for your chapter meetings and in your business to start looking at your infrastructure um where are you exposed in your business like what has this done this is exposing some businesses and i think actually i don't think some businesses i think it's exposed everybody right so it's exposed you in are you prepared it's exposed you in do you have enough cash reserves it's exposed you in can you pivot with your team it's exposed you in your marketing, et cetera, right? I mean, I think it's exposing every business to their weakness right now. Yeah, and I think look, you know, it's important to look long, long term, not just in the next two weeks too. I had a friend, I have a friend, had a friend, have a friend that lives down in Austin. He's a, um, a film producer, does like yeah. film commercials and stuff. And he's like, you know, I'm, I'm feeling blessed right now. I, I don't, it's not really affecting me. You know, I still have the same jobs. They haven't canceled. But what's going to happen is, is, you know, he's working with small businesses and potentially what could happen is their budgets for things like video marketing oh, yeah. is one of the first things that that's going to go. So his obviously his long term yep. fear then is how does he plan for that? How does he create uh, predictable income, you know, as as it gets into maybe some of those tough situations? So, yeah. And the one thing I wouldn't start doing as a business as an, and as an individual is start canceling all of my stuff. I wouldn't do that. I mean, like. Yeah, I heard somebody saying today, "Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna go start canceling my gym and all that." Like, why? You still got to take care of yourself. You still got to do the things. Maybe you're not going to the gym this month, but continue to keep your money in the economy, right? Continue to do that. And I think, um, you know, it's gonna come out the other side. But this is an important thing, and it's good to reinvent. Um, uh, let's see. Maria said, "I have to share that one of the Carmel Master Networks." Call me today and ask me if I need anything from the store. I was with no words. Oh, that's so awesome. Love that. <clears throat> Love that. Some of you heard the story I shared on the podcast today that my wife posted about be like Amy. Um, yeah. 
And that's very much like that, right? Like how many of you are reaching out to your members that you haven't seen in a while or who maybe are vulnerable by age group or we have staff who have low immune systems. And so we've sent them home to make sure that they're, you know, safe and stuff like that. So what are we doing in our chapters to reach out and connect with people? And then, and then look, don't, don't be so prideful not to ask for help. I mean, there's no better time than to do Zoom face-to-face meetings. I mean, think of all the Zoom face-to-face meetings to, to stay connected and get connected and really learn how you can help someone. Um, it's yeah. a great opportunity um, to do that. Block some yeah. time to do that. That's how we can really stay connected. Yeah, Duke said, I can relate to your Austin friend. What this is allowing me to do is to educate myself and have some time to learn some new skills in order to pivot as well as create extra revenue. So let me just let me just t- touch on that, Duke. I love this, and yeah. um, gosh, I I hesitate because we had we have so many plans that are up in the air with things <laughs> right now that we've been working on. And uh, so one of the things you can do to learn right now is to get in the Master Arts University. And um, gosh, we have so much new stuff coming that because of this, we might just release it early to give you guys more tools and stuff. I mean, our team today was just, and we have more calls tomorrow to see if we can streamline this stuff faster to get it in your hands because we know you need it right now. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, so we understand that. And educating yourself right now, that skill set, mindset, and and network is important right now. Uh, Ashley said, Sarah Schwartz, yes, we heard. She's having our first chapter baby in Chesterfield. She's staying home. We already plan to drop off all her fave cravings. I love that. So cool. So cool, guys. That's what we're about. That's what and it's about. I, yeah. So how do we share that more? How do you, how do you, how do we do that guys? How do we get more to our people who are, um, you know, maybe it's not anything they need, but maybe they just need a phone call because you know, they're getting lonely being by themselves quarantined or whatever, whatever. Yeah. Simple phone call. Maybe pick up the phone. Something we don't do a lot anymore. Right. <laughs> right. People will answer now. I promise you. Yeah. So a couple of quick things. Um, you know, there's some great books to read. I was just looking at my library again and uh, some other things that I'm going to be reading through, but it's a good time to go through some of those books and some of those courses on our university and start Ooh, working on the skill sets. Yeah. Start working on the skill sets <clears throat> of the things that can be effective for you and invite your master networks family to our call on Friday. Go to five plus one mastery.com. I'll put that back up again. Um, and you can register for the free coaching call on Friday. The only reason we're asking people to register for it is because we just need to know how many seats we have to have for the, for the call. So again, let me revisit something, be a producer of positive and not a consumer of chaos. And so I'd ask, you know, social media that you go out and put stuff every, every day, we're going to be going live every day to help you with the mindset and the skill set. every day, probably multiple times a day to help you with that because how you start your day, how you end your day, getting this right quick, get off the social media crap that's out there and focus on your mindset. Um, Jay Ortiz said, we have a multi-region meeting starting on Wednesday, nine to 10 AM. All members are welcome to join us. We're a community that supports each other. No, no doubt. I mean, you guys really have a great culture in New York. Uh, he said, it'll be on zoom. Uh, so yeah, I agree. And we have that everywhere. And like I said, we need to keep this message strong right now. There's so much. Like, I feel like we're not even putting a dent in it by doing stuff like this tonight. Because if I turned on the TV or if I went on Facebook right now, it is just inundated with fear. Shut things down. No more than 10 people, right? Like, And so my regional partners, I've asked them to reach out. And <clears throat> I think that's the thing. Like, we have some regional partners on here right now that are leading their regions. Um, and I, you know, Ashley's one, Jay's one, uh, Gary, uh, I don't know who else might be on here. I can't, it doesn't show me. I just see comments. Uh, so if you're a regional partner, um, go ahead and put in, put in the call here, but here's the thing. Our regional partners, we've asked them to reach out to their chapters. Now you said something to me that, uh, I'm, I was a little fired up about, and I know you were fired up. You've been much calmer on this. But as leaders of chapters and as leaders of regions, shame on us if we have not built uh, the chapters in such a way that they can insulate each other. Shame on us if we've treated it like a side hustle uh, to this point, because now we're in the midst of it, right? 
I'm sorry, I took your words, but that's what you were. No, I just think I just think and and look like there's always time. There's always times where we fail to kind of take action on things, but I just think of just some of the conversations I've had over the over the couple last couple of years, and folks that are just waiting to take action, and they waited, and now look at where we're at. They've they've failed to now create an opportunity for somebody that really needs this right now. And uh, yeah, shame on them. Shame on them yeah. for doing that. Not taking shame action. On, shame on all of us if we haven't yeah. taken the chance to build our network to a place where we can impact the lives of others. I mean, what the heck do you think we're doing here? If it's a, if you think it's just about referrals, you're in the wrong organization. Yep. Um, we are here to support each other. And I think it's going to get tough. And so now's the time to really build these groups and to really get them in a place that they're strong and they support each other. So a couple of quick things, as we said, be a producer of positive, not a consumer of chaos. We're going to go live every day uh, to support you guys. So what I'd like to know is what do you think we can do as Corey and I take the next couple of days to prepare? We'll come live tomorrow. I've got some thoughts I'm going to share with you tomorrow, <clears throat> some real tactical things to do to thrive in this market. But what are some things that you're hearing from your chapter members? Did you think we uh, there's Sarah. I love hey, it. Sarah. She, she said, lots of communication with chapter leaders and members to keep them. Yes, Sarah. Sarah's doing a great job. She's yeah. also another one like Jay and Gary and, and Ashley and several that are on here that are commenting who's just out in front of her chapter, her chapters and, and just touching their lives. Yep. But what can we answer for you over the next couple of days to weeks? that would be helpful for your chapter members if we could support them, right? <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Corey Myers said, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Mike Tyson, we have to rely on our foundations and our network, absolutely. Yeah. Corey's a great leader as well. Corey lives in Lubbock, Texas, and has driven the five plus hours to Dallas for leadership meetings like every month, right? It's well, amazing, they, Corey. And it goes back to that too, and I know that Lubbock <laughs> You know, it's the story of the story of Master Networks right now, really, because they've just completely killed it by launching that chapter and probably launching another one as we speak. But like, think about, you know, it, it always starts with one idea or one thought of someone launching a chapter. And I think it might have been Dan. I'm not sure. But I know Dan and Gary connected and then they put this chapter. I think if yep. they didn't take that initial action to set up that initial phone call to set up that initial meeting. All those folks now in Lubbock have that insulation. They have each other and the support. Um, and because someone decided to take action. So, well, I just want to say to uh, Gary, Gary made a great comment. Focus on building your social currency, not just currency. You'll be way richer if you do. It's like I said at the workshop, would you rather have a million dollars or a million friends? Hmm. But right now, a million friends will sure help you out a lot. Right. And uh, that's what that's what a network is. I just couldn't be more proud of our Master Networks family too. The stories we're hearing, the things that are happening. Um, just like, again, leadership isn't a title. Leadership is not a title. Mm -hmm. And don't wait for someone. No one's coming to save you. So be the leader for people. There are people that need you and they're counting on you. Um, yeah, I love that Carrie said this today too. Uh, mm -hmm. She said COVID bucket list for entrepreneurs. Uh, I love it. What's your bucket list right now, right? Uh, so Nikki's got a comment. I don't know if you see Nikki's comment there. Yeah, let me put that up. Hang on. Well, it covers us up. It's such a good comment. Here we go. <laughs> it's, I feel like people need to shift their mindset about these meetings. As you mentioned, how can I help you get through this hard time? Not how do I still get business? Exactly. It's going to be hard for probably six to eight weeks, but I think we're going to be what's right to get in front of it before it gets as bad as China or Italy. China's starting to open up again. If we take precautions, we get through this faster. Zoom and Skype are great ways to keep everyone connected. Uh, yeah, she's got so much done, et cetera. So uh, agree, agree. Ashley agrees with you as well. Like, look, it's important. But what I want to make sure that people understand is that it's not a stop meeting. It's just do it virtual and yep. still stay connected. Don't take – like everyone's thinking this is a vacation. Like I know our church stopped meeting, right? Like – and everyone's like, oh, great vacation. It's like, well, how religious were you then? Right? Like how much, how convicted were you? Right. Just because you don't have to go, you know, to a building on Sunday now or whatever it is. Right. Mm -hmm. People are working uh, from home. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. So 
<laughs> There's so much, so much there, right? Sherry says, "Great, we we truly have a strong tribe in St. Louis area." Yes, you do. Sherry. Yes, you do. So, listen, I couldn't be more proud of what we're doing across the country. Uh, please let us know how your Master Networks leadership team in your region and here. How can we support you? How can we help you? What is it that you need? Because trust me, we're paying attention to it. We are trying. We've been fielding calls all day, emails, text messages, Voxer messages. Uh, tons of messages all day on what we can do to support. Um, Corey, last kind of last thoughts you have for our Master Networks family. So you were talking about books. So I grabbed this book. I feel like the, other than five plus one. Yeah. Now make good. This is like the, the other book of Master Networks. I feel like, right. That's a good yeah. book. Good book to read audible while you guys are looking for books to read and <clears throat> educate yourselves on. Uh, during this. Well, their second book, Dichotomy of Leadership, is almost as, as powerful right now, too, because you have yeah. that. You have you have people who are waiting for someone to lead, and it's you. Like, step up and lead. Yep. Be that voice of calm and uncertainty right now. I mean, I guess the final words, honestly, is just the theme of just staying connected, continue to build your families, your communities, uh, invite others that don't have this opportunity. Don't be afraid to don't be afraid to grow during this time either. I mean, we can grow um, by inviting others onto our Zoom calls, get them excited about being in person at a chapter meeting in two or three weeks. Um, or yeah. whatever it ends up being, you know. So you know, there's an there. interesting. Sorry, there's an interesting thought I had today. Someone said to me on a phone call, and I just share this experience, you guys. Someone shared that while it's different in so many ways, but if you look back when 9-11 hit, when H1N1, like these different phases, Carrie talked about this too. I feel like one of the differences as there's many, so I'm not trying to make the comparison that way. I got this big fly flying around my office. But one of the comparisons is that, you know, when 9-11 happened post 9-11, it brought us together as a country. And unfortunately, coronavirus is like dividing us. And that's why I was saying, I just wish people would show more empathy and love towards each other than shaming everyone because they had to run out and do something at the store. They had to go work or they had to go do this, or somebody went to a chapter meeting or, or a chapter decided to have a meeting or whatever it is, just, you know, that shaming and hate just is not helping mm -mm. anything. And, um, you know, look, we, we need we need strong leadership right now in our country everywhere and yeah, at yeah. the local level. I mean, you know, when you're at the grocery store and, you know, you look over and the guy guy or gal that's bagging your groceries, like just look at them and just tell me you appreciate them because they've been sitting there probably for they're probably on a 10, 10 hour shift that day because of all this, all the people that have been coming in the grocery store. Like, just take a second out of your day and a, tell somebody you appreciate them because um, it could could change the whole day for him. So. Yeah. So true. I think, you know, my wife's post about Amy helping her bag her groceries and that, that lady was so influential for her and made it such an impact as everyone else was just screaming at each other and yelling. And, you know, somebody said that at the grocery store, they were going to close so they could restock shelves. And one of the people came to the cashier and said, I'm going to get my gun. If you don't let me get my groceries. I'm like, that's where we're at. Like, are you kidding me? That's where we're at. That's yep. crazy. Yeah. So look, things are going to get rough. Things are going to get tough. But what's the mindset that you have? What are the skill sets you're working on such that you can build a networking and thrive through this? I believe in this thing as you look past, there are going to be people who will come out of this. Their business is going to thrive and grow because they didn't let off the gas during this time. Just because you might have to work from home doesn't mean stop. Look, if everyone's working at home, call them. Message them. Say, look, we're doing a virtual chapter meeting. We'd love to have you be a part of it. I don't know what your network looks like, but I'd like to have you be part of mine. And, and it's so huge. They would love that kind of interaction right now and that support. So don't hoard the network. Share it. Yeah, well said. Yeah, so uh, thanks, Perry. Appreciate it, man. Perry says great yeah. message tonight. Perry, original founders of Master Networks, great dude. Thanks, Perry. Yes. Yeah, we have some amazing people on this call tonight. Share this with your chapter members, please. And remember, uh, remember, yeah, a thousand percent. Remember, you know, don't hoard the chapter, share it. But remember, every day we're going to come live 
on this Master Networks Facebook page to help you guys through this, right? We're here with you. Yep. Uh, we're business owners just like you. Uh, we're looking to grow and to impact and to change lives just like you. So, uh, you know, we have the struggles too. We had team meetings today and talked about what if, what if, what if, and we're trying to create contingency plans for all different things that we need to do. And at the same time going, how do we still serve our, our members, serve our clients? And your, your, your people need you. So this too will pass and um, we'll be better for it. Look for the blessings in it. Yeah. So sure. Corey, appreciate you joining me, man. Appreciate you as always, man. Appreciate your vision, your leadership. And uh, I know everyone does around the country. So thank you for what you're doing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, we love you. We appreciate you. Just stay strong and uh, reach out to us. We'll be happy to help however we can. Regional leadership, look for those. Uh, there's a lot of changes coming. As I just said, the mayor of McKinney announced a 10-person, mm-hmm. uh, you know, so we don't know how that's going to change everything here. So, all right, guys, have a good night. We will talk to you all soon. Be See well. You. Take care. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate you, man.